Alrighty guys, it is time for meal planning Monday. And as you can see, I have this super awesome Harry Potter um, printout. It's actually to plan your week, but <clears throat> I'm using it to plan my week of food. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I have decided to cook for the week, how I came about to do it, and the method to my madness. So, to start for today, we are doing stuffed French bread. And I put a times two because I am doing two loaves. One is going to be specifically for my husband's lunch. And then the other one is um, his lunch for the week. And then the other is going to be for actual dinner. And so with this, um, we will do some green beans for me and the girls. And this is, of course, coming from my home canned. And then corn for hubby and Dante, my son, um, because they don't like green beans. So that will be that because this already has chicken and hamburger and mushrooms and onion, celery, um, good stuff. Good stuff is already in there. So have these two things and that'll be good to go. Tuesday we have a doctor appointment, so we'll be out. So potato soup will be easy, delicious, and filling, and it's supposed to be really cold. So we'll do potato soup and then... Um, I'll either thaw out a French loaf from my freezer, or I will make some bread bowls and put the potato soup in bread bowls. My husband prefers it that way. Um, it's really just a matter of um, how much time I'm going to have. All right, so next is Wednesday. And Wednesday is gonna be chicken and dumplings. And I have big batch beside it and that is because um first we're having a leftover day so that's one reason because I know there will be potato soup left over and then chicken and dumplings left over now chicken and dumplings are going to be for this the extra so um I'm say making extra of that and then um if you've ever had the drop biscuit or not drop biscuit, but drop dumplings. Um, once you reheat them, they kind of disintegrate, and so they make a real thick broth. And so that's perfect. Add some peas and carrots and potatoes, and you have a delicious chicken pot pie. So that's my method for that. Um, spaghetti, because here is all my pasta sauce, and I had a bunch of extra. So we're having spaghetti this week to use that up. Um, and with this, we're gonna do a salad um, and garlic bread. Okay, now leftovers will either be um, some of this or potato soup if it's not been used up for lunches um, or spaghetti. So that's what that will be. And then, you know, salads then too. Because I know we'll have some left over. And then, like I said, Saturday is chicken pot pie. That is a meal in itself. We don't need anything to go with that one. Sunday is chilly. It's supposed to be another really cold day. And we're cooking that in pumpkin. Tell me if that doesn't just give you a goosebumps. Because it does me. I love pumpkin. I love fall and winter, and um, I want to cook my chili in a pumpkin. So that is what I'm gonna do. Um, now my husband, he won't want his in a pumpkin. I'll have to make his separate. But then also, um, I have here desserts. So I'm gonna be making some pumpkin cookies, um, and those will go for desserts through the week, and then also peanut butter pie which hubby doesn't know about this. That is his favorite, favorite. So I'll be making that too. So I hope that this inspires you to do a meal plan. I know it helps me out a ton because then if I get busy, I already know what I'm having for the week and I don't have to worry about it. There's a, a little baby trying to get up. <laughs> um, so I will in this short little video.
And um, also, I'll bring you along for at least a couple of these recipes. So stay tuned. <laughs> 